first things first is we need to make our background layer. And we'll just make a solid. We'll call it background. Uh, go over here to effects and presets. Type in ramp. Get our ramp, bring it over. Switch to radial. Uh, make the inside white. Make the outside a creamish color. A little too dark. There we go. We'll pull this down into the middle and zoom out a little bit. And let's actually make this a little more creamish. There we go. And so now we actually are going to squish this down just a hair. Because in the video it's got more of a an oval um, radial gradient. So that looks pretty good. We'll leave that as it is for now. And now we'll get our first word up there, which is but. So but. And I found a... Uh, font family called part of me and Someone actually I think went through and created all the different letters It's a little off in some parts because here you, you can see the U is larger than the B is larger than the T I'm not really gonna mess with that part um, So I'll just go ahead and change the color And this is the first guy we're gonna work with right here and a few things we're gonna have to do is change the anchor position as well as making it a 3d layer so we'll make it a 3d layer first uh, don't worry about making the background layer 3d i'll actually lock that down um, and now we're going to grab a grunge kind of grungy layer here put it underneath butt change the track mat mode to alpha mat butt so now the texture is applied to um, our word here and so that's going to give us the ability to have some of the same texture as in the actual Katy Perry video. I will use some adjustments here so brightness and contrast bring that onto our layer pull brightness all the way down and you're gonna have to adjust this quite quite a bit it looks like I'll go ahead and add one more to it Bring down even more. All right, so you can still see a little bit of the texture, but the word's pretty dark, and that's kind of the effect we were going for. Uh, now you can take the pick whip for parent and drag it over to butt, and now you'll see that under the parent column, it has switched to butt. And so now whenever I move butt around, the texture layer is going to move wherever it goes. And that's better than leaving them separated because then the word will uh, not go with the texture and then it starts to look kind of funky. So, okay, let us go ahead and now duplicate those two layers. And I'm not going to go through all the words. I'm just going to do uh, three of them, I think. But your and never... And see right there, I accidentally grabbed the uh, texture layer and started moving that around. But what I wanted to do was, oh, I did it again. All right, now I can move it around that direction. I'll move it up in the Y, move it over on the X, and same thing with your, move it up on the Y, over on the X, and this is just to separate them for now. So now what I'm going to do is for each of these text layers, so your and never, I'm going to take the pick whip and parent them to butt. So the texture layers are parented to the corresponding text, uh, and then the other text layers, so never and your, are both parented to butt. So now, butt is the all controlling um, parent here. Everything is responding to it, and you can see all my layers shift with it no matter what, which is awesome, because now we can go ahead and go to the anchor point, and the anchor point is wherever the text is moving from, and so if you saw here uh, in the spiral, yeah, right here in the spiral, the anchor point is actually out there in the middle of space. 
Uh, so kind of in the center of this cylinder that's been made by these words. So we're going to need to do that. So we'll go ahead and shift it over to the middle of the word but, and then we'll push it back. So when you do this, you may need to uh, change the Z positioning as well. Move everything back that way. You can actually still see your words on the screen. So now I'll go ahead and move it over. And all right, there we have but in the center of our screen. And now it's just a matter of kind of lining these up, uh, lining your next words up in that cylinder that we're making. And so we'll switch to the top view. Go four views here. And for your, we're going to need to change the Y rotation first. And that's the wrong direction. And so we'll move it that way. And we just want to bring it up to the top of that word. All right, so now it's connected to butt. And if you want to check that, you can just hit R for rotation on butt. And then start rotating it. And I'll get rid of the other word for now. So that's not all that close. Uh, so we're going to move it a little more. Bring it up this way. And the thing we're running into here is the, it's actually getting out of whack with the, uh, the layer that we're using for the texture. So after pausing and then coming back and, and realizing what happened uh, and punching my keyboard a few times, I realized that I didn't actually have the texture layer uh, in three dimensional space. So make sure you do that, that's very important. And you'll save yourself a lot of time, trouble and anger um by by doing that so okay we'll give this uh y rotation of 45 degrees well negative 45 degrees and so now we can look at the top and yeah it's starting to make a bit of a hexagon cylinder whatever you want to call it so we'll go back to butt we'll change the y rotation to zero and let's go ahead and give that a keyframe for y rotation Scrub forward to two seconds and make that negative 45. Actually, that's the wrong direction, so we'll go 45. So you see that it's starting to spin and we're starting to get our cylinder. One thing to remember is that you are going to have to adjust the, the anchor point. Um, as you do this, just to make sure that all right, everything is lining up properly because the words are different lengths than each other. So let's turn never back on and get that in the proper position. Make sure the texture layer is three dimensional. And we'll go ahead, hit R for rotation and give the value of negative 90 for the Y rotation. Move it up. And it's the wrong direction. Okay, and we'll move it up over here by your. So now, if we move the Y rotation again for the word but, and just go to 90. And we move the position down, give the keyframe at the beginning, and here as well at four seconds. We can move it down and move it over a little more, a little more. There. All right. So, now we can see that we're starting to get that spiral. Everything is looking pretty good, I think. 
Now, it's not perfect, obviously. Uh, whoever created that video did a great job. I think they used some After Effects scripts. Um, scripts are good for easing and helping you move the text in a little smoother than just the ease in, ease out uh, that we have for, you know, just basic. Like when you right click on a keyframe, keyframe assistant, ease in, ease, ease out all those uh, you can go find some scripts and install those and actually have a, an easier time of easing but for the purposes of what we wanted to do this is looking pretty all right now i am going to add one more word so we can see the last one uh, in the background back there actually if i just move the whole thing backwards it should be okay in z space Okay, so go ahead and copy or hit shift and click on never and whatever your texture layer is and hit command D or shift D, whatever it is for duplicating. And now we have a duplicate layer of what we just did. Um, so we'll go ahead and move it up and over. Move it up. And over one more time. All right, and so now, number two is going to turn into gonna. And we will give that a negative rotation of, uh, let's see, 135. Just trying to go in increments of 45 here. Depending on how many words you have, you want to make sure it's spaced out um, decently enough. That way you're not, you know, one side is a complete right angle and the next side is a very obtuse angle or a very acute angle. But if that's what you want to do with it, that's fine as well. This is all about personal preference. And so we'll bump ahead to six seconds. Switch that to 135. So now we can see that butt is down there in the background. And for position, we'll move it down a little more. Wrong way. There we go. All right, so that will serve the purposes for what we need to do. So now we're getting the spiral staircase going on, which I find very nice. I like spiral staircases, especially the, the old timey spiral staircases. Anyway, uh, getting off track here. Go ahead and find Gaussian blur. Drag it on to your butt layer. And once we get to here, that's when we're going to start seeing the butt layer uh, in the background. So go ahead and put a keyframe on blurriness, move it up to six seconds where we're gonna increase the blurriness to 10. And so there we go. You're never gonna. And then in the background, our word layer is starting to get um, very blurry. Uh, hopefully that is a nice start and give you a few different ideas to start working with. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'm John Hartley. Thank you.